Respected correspondent Mr. K. Lakshmi Narayanan sir, respected school principals, respected teachers and non-teaching staff, dear parents and children, Republic Day wishes to you all. I am proud and honor to give this speech. As we all know, India got its independence from British Empire on 15 August 1947. Two and a half years later, India became a democratic republic republic meaning we the people became the supreme power and we only we get to decide who leads the country on this historic significant day the constitution of india came into effect the constitution drafted by our very own dr ambedkar constitution is in the core of our democratic nation because constitution empowers each and every citizen of india with six fundamental rights right to equality right to freedom right against exploitations right to freedom of religion cultural and educational rights right to constitutional remedies now few years back the constitution was amended to include one more crucial right yes right to education was included education became the fundamental right of every citizen between age 6 to 14 years that was the significance and importance of education that a need was felt to amend the constitution itself dear students not many nations have this privilege of having education as their basic right we indians we are fortunate enough to have education to get education in these quality institutions and get to choose a variety of options the education system offers students you have to utilize this benefit to the utmost advantage for you are the gem of a nation you are the future you decide where our economics our technology our nation will progress for us to become a super power you are the crucial element students learn what is taught to you but always have a hunger inside you 
टू लर्न न्यू थिंग्स लर्निंग इज अ नेवर एंडिंग प्रोसेस इवन आफ्टर यू फिनिश योर स्कूलिंग योर कॉलेज इवन वेन यू गेट टू वर्क वेन यू रिटायर द लर्निंग इन यू विल कीप यू अपडेटेड विल कीप द फायर बर्निंग इन साइड यू विल कीप यू कॉम्पिटिटिव यू हैव टू बी कॉम्पिटिटिव दिस वर्ल्ड हैज ओनली वन रूल वन लॉ द लॉ ऑफ जंगल इट इज सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट फॉर यू टू सर्वाइव यू हैव टू गेट अपडेटेड सो डोंट जस्ट मगअप वॉट इज बींग टॉट टू यू येस मगअप माइट फिच यू सम मार्क्स बट दे आर ओनली फॉर अ शॉर्टर टर्म ट्रूली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज बींग टॉट टू यू ट्राई टू लर्न understand the concepts this will help you in the longer run will help you become a better learner quick learner will improve the quality of your education students remember tomorrow there will come a day when you get to decide choose your profession your livelihood remember this one thing very clearly you are going to do the same deed every single day for the rest of your life so choose a profession that you will love to do you will be interested excited to do that job because today tomorrow for next 5 years 10 years till that time you retire you are going to do that same job no profession is small or big all professions jobs have their own significant role in this society to play children listen to nobody i mean nobody when they say that you can't do this you only can do this always dare to defy the destiny for you are destined to do wonders once you put your heart into it children let me tell you a simple trick that might change your world your lives all together always set yourself targets achievable goals now let's say it takes 12 months to achieve them as per your assessment try to do them in 6 months by god 6 months it doesn't matter if you fail the first time because now the second time when you try it you will already be in a position far better than your initial one because you are twice as prepared than earlier and you are bound to succeed this is how we progress in life students failure or success it doesn't matter never take failure to the heart or success to your head once it is done it is done then you move on don't shy away from getting help your parents teachers well wishers are there only to guide you to motivate you to help you out in overcoming your obstacles on all the hurdles so seek the guidance they help for they are here only for you my dear children break out of the cocoon and rise to greatness for you are our future dear parents and teachers consider me as your younger brother your elder son your passed out student i am simply telling all this from my life experience and my past knowledge kindly consider my words as a request rather than an advice it is just a hope for a better tomorrow i wouldn't have been where i am today without the guidance and love and affection of my mother my parents my family members and all the teachers who were along the way who have helped me and made me what i am today dear parents you play a crucial role in the lives of your children for you are their role model they look up to you they do what you teach them to do and they also do what you do appreciate your children appreciate all the good deeds and feats they have achieved no matter how small they are encourage your children to take up new things don't restrict them to the set goals standard of the society let them explore new things 
only when they explore new things they will come to know which one they are good and how capable they are guide them don't force them into anything don't force them into taking life decisions which you want assess their capability their capacity and give them choices for which they get to choose their future make them as educated as possible support them in their path there are examples where uneducated people have achieved success that is not because that is a common practice they are exceptional personalities but even they required the help of educated people to get success in their lives that is the significance of education and parents only you can give them this boon my last request to all the parents out there it is your responsibility to groom your children into a better person than you for a better tomorrow instill in them the values of respecting others appreciating what they have to be kind and courteous to all the living things to fellow humans but also prepare them to face this cruel world out there dear parents remember your sacrifices are the stepping stone to your children's success dear teachers a heartfelt thanks in guiding us inspiring us and making us what we are today for you are our modern age magicians you are the beacon of light to all the students out there in this darker times if you put your heart to it you can even transform a petty rock into the great himalayas every child is special treat them as you would treat your own children for you have a crucial role to play in shaping our future generations only you can guide them can inspire them and motivate them and push them forward towards greatness despite all their mistakes disregarding them and forgiving them there are no bad students just misguided ones who need your guidance for them to succeed in life the students are just like the flag tied in the bottom of the pole who need the teachers parents and well wishers to pull them up unfurl them so that they outshine with pride in front of the entire world if you have noticed during a flag hoisting ceremony the flag which is tied down is pulled up and unfurled but today in republic day you would have noticed that the flag was already on the top of the pole tied up and during the flag hoisting ceremony it was just unfurled now this also has a significance no act is a random act this signifies that we are already a free nation we are already independent every action every act that we do has a deeper meaning a deep root in our tradition and culture yes in india we have different languages religions traditions cultures different ideologies but irrespective of our differences of our rich diversities we are not separated we all stand together united for we are the true example of unity in diversity dear citizens let us take a oath today to ourselves that we will instill all the fundamental rights that we have acquired through the constitution we will value them in our life we will implement them in our life and we will make india a better nation a better future for our children for our future generations last but not the least before i finish my speech i would like to quote dr ambedkar 
we are indians firstly and lastly thank you jai hind nee 